Alright. Uncle! Where is everyone? They write for San Grignano to slay that snake, yay. Vieri Di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family. This kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, He'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Talk about a sword loser. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Very important. In order to get Maria to talk again, you have to collect all 100 feathers. And in Brotherhood, she actually speaks, so it's canon that Ezio did, in fact, find all of the feathers. However, we're not going to take the time. The fuck are you doing, Ezio? Just get the fuck out of here and go on our merry way to help Mario. Alright. And hop on the horse. Hi, Horse Silva! Away! Fucking go where I tell you to go. To Tuscany, which I also want to visit. That cape is just so fluttery. Twirl! <laughs> okay. Let's go! Let's ride, bitches! I'm not going to be... Damn, that dude just got trampled. I'm not going to be doing too much in Tuscany right now, so... I don't see any reason to go hunt down viewpoints. Unless, of course, I actually get to them, in which case I'll probably get them then. Get off the damn horse, Ezio! Shit. Responsibility. Yeri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Yeri troubles us because he's a Templar. We assassins. Either way, we wish to help. 
Babel, then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the sea, though it seems Mir expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than its host. The southern gate suffers from it, so this is where we are struck. Okay. Let's do it! I hate that it says follow Mario and I'm faster than his fat ass. Alright, let's see. Here's how it is going to work. My man and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Alright, so throwing knives. Wait, wait, I've already... Son of a bitch, it had to fucking change my... Nope, just just die. What the fuck, Ezio? Uh. So used to black flag and shit there, man. D <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, you pissed me off. Is your name Timmy? Get your ass down that well. <laughs> There's one guy here. Okay. Are we done here? Are we? Yeah, okay. Walk up in the club like what up, I got a big flock. <laughs> I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully we will find you enough time to find and silence here. Wait me, Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. No one knows, but something has an edge. How else to explain all of the jobs? See you again when you should fall, Mr. Girlman. Charge, man! What? Yeah, teleport me in front of the guy. That works, game. I'm just chilling. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Do we? Get, nope. There's still one left. Surprise! There's a poster there. We're not worried about notoriety right now. Fucking hell, Ezio, really? Yes. 
That was easy. I didn't really need you guys. I took care of the issue myself. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. All right. You just lay there and die. What's up? Fuck you. Blocks one attack. Doesn't see me walk behind him. What the fuck, man? Um. Can you guys, like, attack or something? Like, just fucking fight. That's all I. Yeah, fuck this. Fall in. Ah, the boat. There you are. It seems my plan has hit something of a snag. Here we men ambush us, and now we've got our hands full. My brother, I will deal with these guards. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See that justice is done. Find Vieri de Pazzi. Alright. I don't need the fucking. Oh, hello. I don't need the mercs. They'll slow me down. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone and Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the future of the finish. Is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide. May the Father of Understanding guide. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. So I just avoid that whole squabble and go get Vieri. I got one of you. Come here. Mm. Now this thing. Oh, there goes Veer. <laughs> that didn't take long. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. What are you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avessi sofferto di più! Sono fuori la fine che meritavi! Spero che il brut! Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? For all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not here. You're not the county. Te la morte, ti dia le pace per cercare. Requiesca, in action. Take this. Read it when you have the time. 
Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. All right. Knife belt. Codex page. Letter to Francesco de Pazzi. Throwing knife skill. Anything else? No? Okay. Alright, that was fun. Back at the villa, a little bit of money to spend. Let's upgrade my armor. Another spalder? Fuck yeah. Seem responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Others least will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil. That's enough green talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Yep, we'll read it. Listen, Francesco. I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Gary is rash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him as you do, beyond the point. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple one. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born of the sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you. I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of you. Yours in confidence, Roger. So apparently Vieri just had daddy issues. I guess the only sensible conclusion I've reached. Look familiar? I have a codex, please. Yes, yes, 
Barbo managed to find and translate a few of them for you. Fear not. This is not your father's name. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something on the wind. A kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held the peace of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. They let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. Start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Then, return here when time permits. You will add it to the wall. Reach the Vila's viewpoint. Indeed, indeed. Oh, come on, Ezio, you can make that. Now I gotta climb up a specific one. Synchronize. What I want to know is if there were codex pages here in Monteregioni, why am I being sent out to collect them? Shouldn't Mario have already done it? I mean, just a thought. Hey, using the map for the first time. And definitely not the last. Alright. Oh, it's on this side. I believe there's still one more inside the walls. And up we go. Nope. Aha! Gravity, thou art my bitch. <laughs> I think it went up too high. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Down we go. Cool. Okay, now. God damn it. Get out of the haystack, Ezio. Now we just need a horse. Because it goes faster like that. Yep. Or so you would think. I believe it's out this way. Riding horses were this much fun. <laughs> horse to building to horse. Alright. Now let's go back to Uncle.
That was easy. As we go. And through the door. What the fuck are you doing? And then we talk to Claudia. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is the most This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are your terms of this? Supposed enslavement. Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, thank you, sir. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, Travelers might visit and spend money, although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself, because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Okay. Then there's this guy. something wrong. Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architecto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? And then we'd be in business. And you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architecto. He gets very observant when he can stand much. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. It. So, let's take a look, shall we? One of the more complicated issues with Assassin's Creed. Um, let's go ahead and buy a tailor. Because that, that's for more than just looking pretty. Um, doctor's there. I uh, could get the bank, but I don't know why. Art merchant. Yeah. What I'll probably do is... Thank you. I'll finish up this mission up to the point where I have to go back to uh, Florence. And then I'll just do a bit of treasure hunting around the villa. And probably cheat the system a little. Because I can do that. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the assassin order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me that we'd remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout the town. Hidden tombs filled with treasure. These six were moved centuries ago. 
Maybe there was something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought to six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Possibly. In Almost order certainly. To perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Yeah, yeah, I know, Rebecca. Thank you for telling me. Uh, where is the marker? Okay, it is on its way back to Florence, so I think this is where I'm going to end this video session. But I'll continue to do some off-screen stuff. There's a bunch of treasures and whatnot hidden around the villa that I can collect in my current state. I can exploit the system, gain a little bit more money, and probably upgrade my armor to the max of what I can get right now and I'll try to have all that done by the next time I record. So thank you guys for sticking with me so far and there'll be more Assassin's Creed 2 to come and I will see you guys later. Bye bye!